And we continue here with some more of our local educators. And we've got some students here. With me now is Rochelle Flores, athletic director from Edison Computech. And she brought along some students. We have seventh, uh, seventh grader Zoe Matoyan. We have Brielle. We also have Gabriel and Ori. You guys, thank you so much for being here. Uh, we've had Edison Computech on before. It's a, a magnet school, a very um, up and coming prestigious school. You guys are always doing some cool things. So talk to me about your, so you're from the athletic department. I am. Talk to me how you fit in athletics to all of these, you know, rigorous academic standards that the school has. Yeah, well, Fresno Unified has goal two, and goal two is very, very important to our students. Um, we are what takes place outside the classroom. So we have some of our best and brightest here from Computech. We have amazing athletic programs that hold our students to a standard that's at a Computech level, which is to work hard, put your best foot forward, and succeed. And, and you know never look back I love it and I was like I was like sports in uh, you know in in complement to education because it makes you work for something mm -hmm. or it gives you a little bit of drive gives you a little bit of discipline do you guys all play sports here yes, yes. you all we play all sports do. okay what, what sports do you play um, I swim play volleyball and basketball what about you um, I play golf and softball. What about you? I play basketball and baseball. And what about you? I just play volleyball. Well, you not just play volleyball, you play volleyball. <laughs> okay, I, I actually played uh, golf and softball too. So talk to me about how you fit in your schoolwork and your athletics. How do you make it all work? What support do you get at school? Well, it's just important to prioritize and finish homework in class if you have free time. Um, just that's what you're learning, you right? Learn time management. Time into yeah. your... You know that you have other responsibilities after school, so when you've got some downtime, if you're just hanging around, you could be getting work, homework done. All right, what about you? What's, what's your favorite part about being able to go to school and play sports? Um, I basically think it's a good way to get exercise outside of the classroom, away from PE. It's a good way to kind of get to know more people that you may have similar interests with. And I just think it's very fun and it challenges my physical um, education as long as my um, mental education. Yeah. But it's like really fun for me and I know it's like good teamwork building and it takes a lot of effort to maintain. It's so important, especially as you get older, to develop those skills now Definitely. for exercising and being athletic. I mean, it, in my 30s, it just makes it so much easier to, mm -hmm. to play the sports that you want to play later in life and yeah, to continue yeah. to go to the gym and continue to, to lead healthy lives. All right, Ori, I'm going to ask you how you think Edison Computech is helping you accomplish your long-term goals. Long-term goals. So um, the classes that you actually like take, there's um, certain like technology classes. So I'm really into like designing things. And so the 3D designs, the robotics and all that kind of stuff, that'll help me like long-term. Yeah. And then the athletics, they're really rigorous. Um, I remember from my older elementary school, we also had to balance. We had to have a certain GPA in order to do th certain things. So, um, yeah, I feel like the athletics are going to push me to, like, work even right. harder than I was in elementary school so that I'll be able to play and I'll be able to compete at a higher level. You'll just be, you know, jack of all trades. You can do all the things. Yeah. Gabe, I want to ask you, so you're in eighth grade now yep. and uh, you've been there for about a, year, a little over a year. How do you think that how much do you think you've grown or how do you think you've grown since being at Edison Computech? I think I've grown a lot mentally and physically throughout the year. Because um, it's really just taught me how to t uh, manage my time better and really just like through the athletic programs too, it's helped me get stronger physically. Yeah, I think, you know, we don't want to overburden ourselves, but the yeah. more that we're able to add to our plates early on in life, the better we'll be able to do. And, you yeah. know, we'll have more yeah. grit later yeah. on in life. So you guys are doing a great job. Thank you Thank all you. for being here. Thank you. We have all the information. If you'd like to send an application to Edison Computech, we have all that information online. And then you can scan that, that QR code there right there. If you point your camera phone at that code, it'll take you right to the application. Thank you. Thank you all so much for being here. Good luck in the new school year. Uh, coming up next year, wine expert Lori Budd takes us back 2,000 years to the Rhone region in France. How this wine made its way to California next.